Yo, how's everybody doing out there? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with another GTA 5 Online glitch video. Now, in this one, we're going to be making modded outfits. A lot of people wanted to know how to make custom modded outfits. This is a glitch that you can make those custom modded outfits. Now, I put DM glitch in the title. That's merely because that's what most people know it by. But it's actually a creator method, but you can make modded outfits the same way. Now, big warnings, okay? Huge warnings. If you do not listen to my intro right now, that is on you. But I recommend you listen to the entire intro, okay? Listen. If you do not, you are a dummy. And I say that with love, okay? Now, the downsides of this glitch. First, the upside. It's easy. Mad easy. Super easy. The downsides. We're going to be deleting one of our characters, okay? Yeah, you heard me right. We are deleting one of the characters. Obviously not the main one, but you're deleting your second character. Now, you will lose all your progress and cash on that character, okay? Now, also, if you want to make multiple modded outfits, this is like a one-way transfer, guys. So if you want to make multiple modded outfits, you either do them all in one go and then never do the glitch again, or you, you know, you got to make the, you got to remake the outfits again because, as you know, we're deleting the character, okay? So my tips, do not do this on your main account. If you have a backup account, do that. Obviously, if you care about your second character, you're not going to be doing this glitch because you have to delete your second character. Now... Also, if you're deleting your second character and doing the glitch, bank all your cash, okay? Put it all in the bank so that you don't actually lose any money. You know, it's all in the bank. That's all between characters, so that will be fine, okay? Now, write down the components you put on your deleted character because if you want to go back and make more modded outfits, you have to actually make those modded outfits again, okay? Because remember, we're deleting the character. We can't just simply go back to that character and modify an existing outfit. You have to remake them every time. So that's why I said in the beginning of the video, either only do this once and make a bunch of modded outfits, or if you want to keep doing it multiple times, you have to keep remaking your old modded outfits, okay? You lose all the outfits on the main character, all right? So if you have pre-saved outfits you really like, like joggers and stuff like that, you're going to lose those, okay? Just so you know, all right? There's... I gave you a bunch of warnings, guys. That's all I can tell you. Please do this with caution. It is not my fault if you, by mistake, delete your main character or you lose your outfits. I'm telling you exactly what's going to happen. You will lose your main character's pre-saved outfits when you do this glitch. Okay, you'll lose all of them. The only ones you'll have are the modded outfits that you made from the second character, the one that we're deleting. All right? Those are my warnings. It's not my fault if you delete something on accident. It's not my fault, okay? I have told you everything. Proceed with caution, all right? That is my disclaimer to this glitch. But other than that, it's mad easy. It's super easy, actually. You can do this glitch so many times over and over again, all right? I'm doing it on my backup account, and I'm actually going to be doing it on a female character. So we're going to be making female modded outfits. Go down in the pinned comment. I'll show you some videos where I made male modded outfits, okay? But here we go. I'm going to start it right now. These are the two outfits we're going to be making. So go on your second character, all right? Your male character. This is to make female modded outfits. You want to get one outfit with this, the smart shoes, the cream oxfords, all right? Put those on. All right, so you see we're making modded uh, female outfits. So you need to put components on your second male character. That's what I'm doing right now. So then go ahead and go to the shorts and put on the purple cargo shorts, all right? So purple cargo shorts, all right? So... Now, go ahead and go to the tops. We're gonna to be putting on that vest shirt that you see right there. It's the pinstripe vest. Well, that's the vest itself, pinstripe vest. The vest shirt is just the white vest shirt. Okay, really simple. All right, I'm not sure why I scrolled all the way up. I think I was looking for t-shirts, but it's actually under vest shirt. So go right back down. Don't follow where I was going there. Go to vest shirts, and there we go, the white shirt. That one should come on automatically, but just in case it doesn't, you want to go ahead and put that on. And shout out to X Tiffy because I'm using some of her components and some of her pre-made outfits for the female because I'm not too comfortable with the female outfits. I mostly do males, but that's what I needed for this video, okay, because this is my backup account. Go ahead and put the white skinny tie. And then once you put the white skinny tie, go to gloves and put the black woolen gloves on. All right. So once you've done that, now we can work on the headgear. If you haven't noticed, we're working from the bottom up. All right. So the headgear, it's a mask and a hat. So we're going to be getting this hat right here. Go, go ahead and go to caps forward. It's the front a lot green cap. Okay. So the front a lot green cap. Now what you want to do is go over to the mask shop and you're going to be getting this ski mask that you see we're wearing right now. So Go ahead and go to ski mask and once we're there it's going to be the zebra bigness face okay ski mask basically and then save it as an outfit all right and this i believe is actually the checkerboard outfit all right it's a really cool checkerboard bathing suit for the female character all right really really cool 
So, as you can see right there, save that as an outfit, you're good to go. Now we're going to be making one more outfit. This is going to be a white joggers outfit for the female. It's really cool. So, go ahead and go to another outfit, go to your shoes, and we're going to be putting on these right here. Go to smart shoes, the gray slip-ons, all right? Gray slip-on smart shoes. Now we're going to be going over to the short section. Now, the benefit of having a girl as your main character, you, there's a component for every joggers, all right? That's the best part. So, and they're all the boxer shorts. So you see these shorts right here, the tan stripe boxer shorts, that's actually going to give you white joggers on the female. So that's why the female character is actually really good for modded outfits. Now, once we're once we got those boxer shorts on, you want to work on the top. So the tops that we're going to be going to is you want to go ahead and go to t-shirts. And once we're at t-shirts, you want to put on this one, the, the charcoal t-shirt. All right. This is very specific. You want to put on these exact components. Then you want to go up to biker cuts. Once we're at biker cuts, put on the charcoal denim cut. Okay. This is actually going to give us a really cool race belt outfit. All right. It's, it's pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. So now go ahead and go to the accessories and we're going to be putting on these gloves right here. I think these are the blue surgical gloves. Yep, right there. Blue surgical gloves. You want to throw these on. And then if you don't have one of these rebreathers already, you just go to the gear, uh, the gear section over there at ammunition. And that's where you buy the rebreather. OK, but I'm just going to go ahead and take all this off real quick. So you put the rebreather on first. Then when you have the rebreather on, you go to the hat section and we're going to go over to fedoras. Once you're at the fedoras, you want to go to that one right there, the white fedora. Put it on and then save this as an outfit, okay? So those are the two outfits we're making. So this is on the character that we're deleting, all right? That's what I'm saying. You see, we're putting all these components on here, but this is going to be deleted. But we're going to get the outfits on the female. So right now, I'm just going to... We're pretty much starting the glitch now. I mean, that's all preparation and warnings and whatnot, but this is the start of the glitch. So let me just show you the two outfits that we will be transferring. These are the only two outfits that are gonna be on the female. Whatever pre-made outfits I have on there are gonna be gone, okay? So these are gonna be the only things. Like I said, you lose all pre-save ma uh, made outfits on your main character. So once we have these saved, go ahead and hit pause, go to online, and then go to creator. Now this works on Xbox and PlayStation. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but this works on all, I think it works on PC too. It works on all consoles, okay? Now, once we go into creator, what we're going to do is go over to create a race. All right. So head over to create a race and we're going to make a land race. This, you're going to see how easy this is. All right. Super easy. I don't know if anybody's ever made a race. Mad easy. So you see all those little boards. Just literally fill them up with anything. I just put GGG in all of these. All right. So just, you know, search all that stuff. Take a picture. If it tells you to take a picture, just do whatever it says. All right. Maximum players, you can put it to two if you really want. R uh, route type, point to point. That's very, very important. Put point to point. It'll be super easy to do and really quick. Then go to placement. You want to place a trigger. All right. This is where the race starts, basically. Okay. So put it on a road somewhere. Take another picture if it tells you to take a picture of the lobby camera. And then now this is where you set your checkpoints. Okay. So that's going to be the start of the race. And then you want to make this race. It's about 0.6 miles. I recommend just making it 0.7 miles. So as you see in the bottom right, see race length. I still have that like hazard, that red hazard sign. That means it's not the race isn't, you know, long enough. It needs to be a certain length. So about 0.6 miles is the way to go. I recommend just 0.7 all right, just to be safe. But yeah, so you're going to see me. I'm just going to keep putting down markers. I think you have to put down at least six of them, but you're going to see. All right, here we go. 0.68 that would have been good there but i went to 0.7 anyways so now back out of that menu and then once you've done that just test the race okay so you're just going to simply test the race right here i'm going to fast forward and since we did point to point it'll end right there at the end now you get this you've completed the race what do you want to do hit x or okay would that be a on xbox just okay that now press pause go to online and then go to choose character okay now we're going to head over to choose character. This is the really important part that you do not want to mess up on. This is where we're deleting our second character, the one that we just made the components on. Okay, everything I said in the beginning of the video will make sense now. So you see that on the left, that's my main character, my girl character. That's where I want the cool modded outfits on. That's a pre-made outfit. I'm going to lose that, okay, because that's pre-made. I'm losing that. Now, you want to go ahead and go over to your second character right here, which is my male where we made the modded outfits on. And you want to delete this character. Just completely delete the character. Okay. Now I switch between both just to make sure that I'm actually hovering over that character. Okay. Switch between both because sometimes it like glitches out weirdly. So go ahead and go to delete this character. 
uh, as you can see in the bottom right, it's square to delete on PlayStation, and that would be X on Xbox. And then it's going to ask you to type in delete. Like, it's a confirmation. It's like, are you sure you really want to do this? So type in delete if you're sure you want to do that, and then delete the character, and then you're good to go. Okay, so now you see it just remakes a random character for me. All right, so now this is you pretty much done the glitch already now either press circle on playstation that would be b on xbox and it's just going to return you to story simply like that so i'm just going to fast forward through all this loading stuff and then now that i'm back in story you want to press pause go to online play gta online playstation you can go you can just hit go xbox i probably recommend you go into an invite only xbox has a stupid problem where you time out all the time going into sessions that could screw up the glitch so Xbox dudes, just go into an invite only session. All right, it's probably way better. You have way less chance of timing out. So now that we're spawned in, this is a pre-made outfit. I could have saved it beforehand, but I'm gonna lose it just for the video purposes. And then look, when I click on my first outfit, check it out. I got that cool checkerboard bathing suit outfit. That was that first one that we made on the male character. And then if I go over to the second one, there's that white joggers with the race belt outfit. All right, so two pretty cool modded outfits I made on the female. And then, you know, the male character is deleted. So now, if you wanted to make more modded outfits, say I wanted, I was like, all right, these two are really cool. Let me go make more. What you would have to do is actually those components that I put on the male character, I'd have to make those outfits again because obviously I deleted that male character. So if I wanted to keep these two modded outfits, I'd have to remake those. That's why I recommend writing down all the components you're using. Okay, say I didn't like one thing on here and I wanted to edit the component write it down guys okay so if you want to keep doing this over and over again either do it one time in the beginning make 20 modded outfits transfer it once and then you're good to go or if you want to just keep going back and forth you have to keep remaking these outfits that you want to keep these modded outfits okay so now you see what i'm saying put all your money in the bank so that you don't lose anything on your second character you know any money and that's pretty much how it goes guys all right, that is all the info I can give you. Now, in the pinned comment, those of you that have a male as a main character, you know, and you want to make cool male modded outfits, I'm going to leave two videos, I think three videos actually, down in the pinned comment. And what you want to do is, for those of you making male modded outfits, look at the components that I'm putting on the female character, okay? Just look at the components I'm putting on the female character, and then you'll see what comes out of the male character. All right, that's how it goes. It's just reverse if you're doing it for male, all right? But like I said, do this on an account you don't really care about, or if you're doing it on your main account, be very, very careful you do not delete your main character, okay? That's all the warnings I can give you guys. Shout out to X Tiffy for, you know, making a cool video on this. I'll leave her link down in the description. Also, she has a component list for male and female. I'm going to leave those links down there as well if you want to just look and see what, like, all clothings turn into going male or female, all right? So... Like I said, that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by pressing that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000 subscribers. We're about 1,000 away. Peace out, everyone.